Right, there are the masts, everyone. The aerial masts. I should get a good signal on the radio when I get up here. That's the Roman road. I call it a Roman road, but it leads to a place where the Romans were. So, to be quite honest, I bet they built this original... A bit under here, that, that led right the way down to that Roman mining area. And they would have had a road like this going over, 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 you know, they would have. Now right over there, so I probably, I'm not, probably not going to do the trig point today. I'm going to keep that for another time and that'll be a shorter walk. But there's the, uh, the trig point there. I don't know if those people I that we keep passing each other have got... I don't think they would have got there yet. But there's a big bunch of cows out. And they're up here, so that's a good sign that the cows are up here. I have to negotiate a couple of fields, you see. And... Uh, So this is the aerial mast. These are massive masts that are good reference points that I refer to all the time when I'm on my walks. I've got Brent Knoll, Crooks Peak, Glastonbury Tor, Bring Down, Steep Home, Flat Home, and these aerial masts. I refer to these all my landmarks when I'm in different places. So you can't really see Glastonbury, you probably could. I can see Brent Knoll right over there, which I've zoomed into a minute ago. But you can see why this would have been called a Roman road. Why this would have been a Roman road. Because down there you've got Velvet Bottom, which I've just come up through. And two people that I met were having a picnic who passed me earlier on a muddy track. They've passed me, I let them pass me. Um, I wanted to see if the radio would come on with any news about the election. They aren't even talking about it. So. But anyway, in a minute, Longwood's over there. I haven't really got far to go, to be quite honest. I've only got to get in a field down there and straight into Longwood. I'm not going to do the trig point. I'm leaving the trig point for another time. Cool, I've never seen this many cars up here. There's a lot of people doing a walk today. People have been able to have the time to find these places to park. And um, that's the track I'll be going down in a minute. Let's just go over by this gate. I was going to have me cheese and tomato here. I want to turn the radio on and see if it does pick anything up in a minute. So here we've got quite good views, all over there, a busy road down there, um, I don't know if this gate works, we could get in for a minute, we could, there, we just go in for a minute, and uh, I'll close it in a sec. There are walks that you can do from here, you see. There are walks you can do from here. You can go Blagdon Lake over there. I think that's Blagdon, or it could be Chew Magna Lake. See, there's a way down there. But that road down there is a terrible, terrible, dangerous road, that one. It's really, really fast. There's nowhere for people to get out of the way. It's really dangerous. But there could be that there's a bridle path the other side of that road for people who do know I have done that. I haven't done it and I'm not doing it today. I don't want to end up on a busy man manic road. But here you've got quite good views of the aerial masts and further over we'll have the trig point again on the area of outstanding natural beauty. Now I recognise the two people that passed me because well, the girl had a white coat on so that's not them 
I don't know, I don't even know if they're going that way. They've probably, they might be doing Longwood like I'm doing in Back to Cheddar. Right, I'm going to turn off now, I want to take some photos and then I want to see if the radio works well up here. Right, over and out. Um, go back to that mushroom in a minute. Right then, I've just walked along the muddy track from the aerial masts. I've got a feeling that might be what's called a magic mushroom, but I'm not sure. Because when I came through a couple of fields back there, there was it was there was about at least ten people, if not twelve, had just left the field as I was entering it. And I said, "Oh, what is the people are fossil hunting or something?" Or you know, there's another one there. And they said, "No, they're looking for mushrooms." And they said they're of the herbal variety that are good for depression. Magic mushrooms. Because apparently there's only one certain time of year you can find them. I found a load, what I thought was a bunch of them. But I didn't shout out, here's a load here or anything. But, uh, yeah, it was back there. I wondered, I've seen somebody a couple, when I last came here. I saw a woman, I didn't know what she was doing. Just a woman on her own. Um, looked like she was picking something. I thought then it was like mushrooms you eat, you know, for your breakfast or put in your bolognese. But apparently these two women said no, they're for medicinal reasons. Um, but they're illegal, you can't get them in the shop, which I know. I didn't know if they were, I wasn't sure if they were illegal. Anyway, so I'm coming down this field where I've been before and I spotted all these cows way up. But I don't know if the cows that are normally by Longwood are way up. Have they gone to be milked? So I don't know yet. I would have thought this was about the time when they would have been taken in by now. But... I'm not sure though, because I mean, I would have been here around about the same time last time. Um, around about the same time. So I, I, I would think that they probably have been taken up. Or it might be they have, they're still in the field and they haven't been. But I can't see no cows at all in any of the fields. I mean, they might have been taken in. We've had some really bad weather. But these cows are out and they've gone up. Fortunately, they've gone up the hill again because they have been down here. There's cow back everywhere. They've gone back. They've got. They've gone up the hill. I've seen them all around a hayrick. So I, once again, I've timed that right. And it could be that the cows have just been taken along there. So what bus did I get last time? That was either a four or a five o'clock one. Now if it was a four o'clock one, this would be about the right time. See, look at all this cow pack. So I've timed that well. Right, over and out again. I've just, like I said, I was just um, saying about the magic mushroom fields. Obviously, someone's come across them and words got out because I've never seen people pick in there before. And I've taken some photographs. I'll have to go online later to see what they look like, but they only come out a certain time of year. And obviously, they like all the cow stuff because it sort of nourishes the soil. But uh, they're down on their hands and knees, some of them looking for them. Yeah, so. Right then, here we go. We're down near the little hamlet, which is a road I've got across. A small Cheddar Bee Road. A couple of little farms here. 
that could be the <coughs> milking generator I can hear for the cow milking. Um, oh, it looks like we've put another water hole machine here. Oops, fortunately the cows are right up there, so I was, there's the masts. Right up there, I just zoom in where I was earlier. And I was listening into the USA presidential campaign, and it's still Trump won Florida, apparently. Apparently, that's one that you have to win. Um, well, you do have, but I don't really know the rules. But there's still about five people that haven't declared yet. Pennsylvania's won. Michigan, they reckon to go to the. Let's put that there. The Democrats. Pennsylvania is a big one. It could take two days to count all them. Right, you've got to try and get your leg over. Yeah. It's not easy, you know, getting them when you're older. Ooh. I remember doing this before. This is a new feature. That's uh, I often think I'm going to bump into a bull here for some reason. Right. Because it's probably boggy in Longwood. I might go through. It might not be though. I don't know whether to go straight up the valley or go up, up and down, if you know what I mean. Oh, looks like there's a bit of a flood here. The stream's overfilled. Oh, we're fun games here, Shell. It's burst its banks, look. It'll find its way though. It's going to be fun, isn't it? This is going to be fun. It's burst its bank here, look. They've tried to repair it. I've never seen it so full. I've got a cross here. Right, I'm going to turn off a minute. What I'll do, I'll put the camera there. While I negotiate this gateway. Which other people have done as well. Alright, I can do it. Mm -hmm. It's turning it off, doesn't it? Look at it coming through there, look. Someone will have to come with some sandbanks. Bags. That could be dangerous later. See if that all froze. I wonder if how boggy it's going to be down here for me. But they have got drains, look. Well, it hasn't covered the bridge. That's one good thing. Yeah, it's just... I have to get through here, because that could change my plans completely, see? Yeah, it was just trickling when I came last. Yes, finding its way through another pathway, look. Still coming, it's still coming here. Right, so deja vu everyone. This is Sheila, 4th of November, 2020. I've tuned in the radio now and again. Um, not all the counting's finished. Um, it's looking a bit of one and a bit of the other. So anything could happen with these last stages. Anything could happen. Um, President Trump has already 
said, told the people he reckon he's one. Now, you, the, I mean, that's, he's like a little kid in many ways, isn't he, really saying that, you know what I mean? I've won, I'm the winner. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> he does act like that at times. <sighs> right, over and out a minute. Somebody ahead.